Hi everyone, it's Nikki here and it's the 10th of December today and I've come back for a non-full coverage bit parade. So all the projects that I've got started, been working on a little bit throughout the year, maybe not so much as I could have done, there's a reason. And there's not a lot of projects so this should be fairly quick and so I'm going to show you a few other bits and pieces. So plan that I've got for WIPGO next year and a little something else I've been working on. So we'll start with the non-full coverage that has taken up most of my time this year and this is the Castle Home Homecoming Club. It's Stitch Along from Frosty Pumpkin. We're actually on part eight now and for some, well, because I've been working on this when I could have been stitching other non other non full coverage pieces. I've got quite a lot done and I've actually managed to keep up. So we're on part eight now, which is uh, castle over here. So it'd be castle. I think there's a pond with a weeping willow and a road. So I've got that to work on and I'm hoping that it's not going to take me that long to get done. The the tree and the troll seemed to take quite a while last month, but then I was away for quite a few of the days I would have been stitching on this. I just stitch on it an hour or so every, every now and then, here and there. So Obviously it's not all out yet. There are two more parts to go after this. It would be really nice if I could keep up with it and have a stitch along done when it's meant to do, because I don't always. Uh, the fabric is 36 count feldspar, no, valor, got something else on feldspar. 36 count valor from Picture This Plus and it's called for fabric, called for threads. So that's that one. And uh, next one is another long dog. This one is pandemic, so it's another big long dog I'm stitching it on 20 count Ada because I the intention was that I was going to work on this at lunch times when I'm working in the office you obviously know that I have full coverage projects that I work on when I'm not in the office and I'm working from home so this was going to be something that I took to work but now I have to drag my laptop with me to work and it's just so much to carry so for the couple of days that I'm in the office in a week, it didn't really seem worth all the extra effort of taking in this as well. So I kind of just stitch on it a bit when I feel like doing just a monochromatic piece at home. So not much. And I haven't stitched on it much this year. That's all Frosty Pumpkin's fault. <laughs> all the fault of the stitch along I'm trying so hard to keep up with that but everything else is getting put by so I haven't done much it's stitched with one strand of 3799 not doing anything special for it just really nice to work on a long dog sampler because I don't know I can't decide whether to work by page or whether to work by motif so that's kind of why I'm a bit into page two this way, but I haven't finished page one that way. This is just all one motif. It's fairly large. I don't know. I really need to sort myself out with this one and get on with it. I have actually put it into Pattern Keeper now, so that might encourage me to do some more on it. So another piece, uh, one that I started a while ago now, is Castle Walls by Ink Circles. And this is on the feldspar fabric, uh, 36 count feldspar, and using the called for, called, called for colours, which is Gloriana threads, and one is in charcoal, and the other is slate blue. And, uh, yeah, the centre circle bit is done, the outline up the border of that circle is underway, and this bit will take us up. Let's show you the, so this is what I'm doing. So I've done the circle, started the 
border and I've started doing this bit because I do like to work top down so my idea was to kind of bring up up to here and then put my way down but I, I started doing that and that's why I stopped I'm not sure I have actually touched this at all this year if I have it's just one or two days maybe I did um I can't remember I really need to start taking pictures at the beginning of the year and then keeping track all the way through is that project in there sort it all out later and another one that i had a small start on is halloween squirrel from the blue flower i've stitched one of the squirrels one of the other i think it was spring squirrel i stitched he's sitting up in my sewing room so i thought i'd stitch one to go with him uh halloween uh, all I've got done so far is I made a start on the border and I think the plan was I was going to do the entire border first and then get it through and it's uh, fabric's much bigger than I need so I thought if I can get might get two squirrels out of this because I do have the set of them uh, can't remember what fabric this is it's got a bit of sulky thread on there so that I could work out where to start. So that is my very small start on that piece. Um, yeah, once frosted pumpkin's done, I'll do some more. But I want to get some more of this one done. Let's see. This is uh, one of the snow globe owls. Um, and it's by Cross Stitch Pictorial from Etsy. It's, ah, there we go. So I'm actually a good way through it now. Um, you can see the face of the owl, and I'm coming, work, coming down the snow globe now, filling in more of the owl. So kind of bringing it down evenly across the whole piece. And there's going to be a load of back stitching and there's some French knots to do, but that is all waiting until the end. Now the chart's got back stitch on it, so you can't work it fully on Pattern Keeper, but I have been able to get all the cross stitch parts into Pattern Keeper. So I'm working away at it. There, I've got quite a bit done on it this year. It's just so lovely. I really want to really want to get it done and I have the same fabric for the other three pieces There's a, it's a series of four that I want to get done so hopefully I really want to get that one done next year and that is going to be a bit of a goal another thing that I want to get done next year if I want to get more done on next year is this let me just get the pattern off these needle minders to hold paper patterns onto my fabric it also means i can put my needle there when i need to this is luca from mirabilia and in the coming year she will have been started four years ago because i started her on leap day and the top the cross stitch done at the top and kind of made the mistake of starting on the interesting bit first so we're we're working down um i have got a little bit more of her dress done that's scrolled up not much so i'm working over on the bed side now trying to get that done trying to get it all joined up and I was going to work on this on weekend afternoons, really. Um, but what happened was obviously you must stitch along. So that's that's a good chunk of time to spend stitching on that, keeping up with that. But also Diablo 4 happened. So I've been playing a lot of computer games during that time, apart from doing stitching. But it's all good. 
I want to get all of this done next year. I've got all the beading to do and there is a ton of beading to do on this piece. Um, all the spaces in her dress here, there's all beads, there's beads to go on here, there's loads of back stitching to go, there's binds and twinkly bits and beads all over, all over the place. Um, I want to get it done because I've got other mirabilias that I want to get done. I've got Bella Filipinas. That I'd like to start one of those. I need to get it done. Which means I need to be a bit more organised in how I spend my time. I need to make more time for my non-full coverages. It isn't easy because full coverage is what I enjoy doing the most. You can't do it all at once. So that's kind of all of the other projects that I have underway at the moment. Uh, Whipgo this year. I often fail with Whipgo simply because I have kind of a plan of what I'm going to stitch and when. So doing Whipgo is really difficult for that. So what I decided to do was just to work on one project on Whipgo and this is it. This will be, let's see if I can pull it a bit closer to you, it's a small picture. It's The Wanderer and the artwork is by Natasha Chora. It is non-full coverage, so none of that white is charted, so no stitching on that, which is really good. And my mad plan with it is each of the whip goes squares I'm going to multiply by a hundred. So Number one will be 100 stitches. Number 25 is 2,500 stitches. And so for the two numbers that get called, I'm going to stitch those number of stitches on this design that month. Now I'm not going to be able to, not, gonna, not going to allow myself to stitch ahead. So if one and two get called on the first day, so that's 300 stitches in the first month. I'm only going to stitch the 300. But if by some horrible, horrible twist of fate, numbers 24, 25 and 13 get drawn at the same time, that's a lot of stitches to do in a month. So I'm going to be allowed to catch up. So if I don't quite finish the number of stitches for the previous month, then I can catch up. So the idea is that by the end of the year, I will have stitched I think it's 32 and a half thousand stitches on this piece. I've put it into Pattern Keeper already. It's about 74,000 stitches total. So that's just over two years of Whipgo. So, so this is my Whipgo project. I'm going to be stitching on it lunch times when I'm working from home and weekends. So to do that little bit of moving around and a little the stitching time is being taken off of that rotation and being put into the main rotation because at some point that will be a focus piece. That's coming into regular rotation. This will be stitched with Bizarre Bookshelf and that means that I get to spend more time on Bizarre Bookshelf so that makes me happy about that too. So that's it for the stitching. Obviously this year I have been doing some quilting and I'm middle of well middle I've just started assembling another quilt top it's a snowflake quilt I put a picture of it on Instagram because I, I've put the small box into bigger blocks and now I need to join those blocks into the rows and then join the rows to make the quilt top it's not at that bit yet so I've just started on the rows so I can't really show you but once I've got it done I'll share it but this year I have tried to learn how to crochet and we went to the knitting and stitching show at Alexandra Palace and I like this little pumpkin so this is from Toft UK uh, they have a stand at the knitting and stitching show and so I bought the kit and I bought a couple of other things as well I bought a trick or treat which is a mushroom Toadstool, really like, can't wait to do that one. So this was my first crochet piece really, uh, 
a little pumpkin. This bit, fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Stalk was a different type of stitch, which was a bit of a struggle, but I got there eventually and it kind of looks pumpkin stalkish. Uh, so I've probably stuffed it a lot more than they stuffed theirs. So I've got him shaped a lot more than he was looking on the picture. So I like him like this. So we also went to the knitting and stitching show at Harrogate as well because we were in Leeds that weekend. Uh, so another stitching show. So I got a few more things from Toft. So I've got a few crochet things to be getting on with and there might be some crochet presents for Christmas. So I am going to do more of these throughout the year, so share my progress with those as well. Also got a couple of other bits and pieces, like another sewing kit or two, and another bell of Filipina. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, that's it. I'm trying to come back at the end of December, maybe, uh, just to show you the stitching that I've done in December. And then yeah, I can't wait till January 1st for my new start and I will see you then. So bye for now.